All right, well, thank you again, Archie Tongue Education Fund, for the, um, the grant we were able to use to purchase some rescue vehicles for our, for our department. <clears throat> uh, we, with the contribution of some funds from our unrestricted account, uh, we were able to take the one truck we originally requested and turn it into two trucks uh, that we found um, a little, uh, slightly used or lightly used uh, on the market. So we purchased two 2020 F-350s uh, to be able to tow the large trailers that we have, as you can see the one in the background here, uh, for our rescue and response, as well as our education and training uh, curriculum. Um, we have a, this uh, larger truck with the higher lift and the canopy is a 7.1 liter gas engine, and the one behind is the 6.9 liter gas engine. Um, just easier on maintenance, despite it's having a little bit lower um, towing capacity. It's more than what we need for our, for our trailers uh, by far, and the tongue weight um, really meets what we need. Um, so lower maintenance uh, for, our, for our already <laughs> overworked uh, plant services staff at campus. Uh, so some of the things that we were able to do with the funding that we received in contribution with some of our unrestricted funding, as you'll see in our uh, final report, is uh, we were able to, to buy the uh, Ranch Hand uh, Midnight Bumper. Um, we drive through disaster zones as well as the mountains of Colorado for training. We often uh, see a lot of deer, elk on the road. Um, pretty much every summer program at least one person hits a deer or an elk uh, and that can total a vehicle. So this bumper was a, a must for us uh, for that as well as going into disaster zones uh, where we often are running into like sand berms, um, down power lines and trees and sometimes visibility is poor while we're driving and trying to get out and assist those we're, we're uh, there to serve. Uh, with that, uh, we, we beefed up the lighting that um, is on the front of the truck. So we have the pods down in the lower area. We have uh, amber and white, white being better for road conditions and, and good weather, and the amber being much better for dust and uh, fog. Um, they're both SAE uh, certified and are street legal. <clears throat> and then we added the, uh, the amber light bar, which has been amazing. Um, we ran a night off a few um, week and a half ago, and that was uh, great as we, we almost hit an elk, <laughs> tried to commit suicide in front of us, and the extra light was, was fantastic for that. Uh, so kind of moving back around the vehicle, um, another thing that we were able to do is upgrade the tires and wheels on the trucks, both trucks, and make them match. Um, it came with 30-inch uh, tires stock with street tires, uh, so we bumped it up to 35s, would actually um, fit within the wheel wells with no additional lift. Um, or uh, modifications, and we put on the uh, some larger, beefier, higher rated uh, for strength uh, wheels as well from Method Race Wheels. So we have the, the Baja tires um, and the Method Race Wheels. So kind of moving back down the truck, um, we also put on the um, uh, Sherpa Designs roof rack. Uh, one reason we selected this one was it's uh, low profile, which wouldn't affect mileage and wind noise as much, uh, and its ability to add um, lighting on the outside. So if you look up here, we have the uh, scene lights, which have been amazing to work with on our night operations, um, provide large uh, area of visibility around the truck for loading, unloading, patient care, scene management, and things like that. <clears throat> uh, underneath the truck, we have, on this, on this one, specifically just on the one truck, we have mounted an ARB dual air compressor and tank, auxiliary tank, um, and we have chucks on the front and back of the vehicle um, so we can inflate our rescue boats, um, air up and air down tires, depending on the situation we need, um, stuff like that. One thing I did forget to mention is we, on the front bumper, will eventually be adding in on this, on the one truck, on this specific truck, a winch, a uh, 12,000 pound winch with a uh, synthetic line. Uh, we weren't able to get it done before summer program just due to crunch time. Uh, but that is something that will be, the winch is purchased and we just need to get it mounted um, before our next uh, disaster response, preferably. So moving back on this truck, this one we bought as the canopy truck um, with the topper. Uh, we wanted one truck that could function more as like a light rescue truck and then the other one is still open top so we can still carry supplies, you know, two by fours, eight, four by eight sheets of plywood, things like that on a four response, more of a work type vehicle and this one would be more of our light rescue. So we went ahead and bought the GFC um, topper, which is incredibly strong. They actually have videos of actually putting a second truck on top of the topper. Um, it's amazing what um, the strength of this thing 
um, and how beefy it is, and that seemed quite appropriate for what we do. Um, and uh, the pricing was was actually very competitive as well. So it has full access on the sides. Um, we'll walk around the back. <clears throat> Um, in addition to the topper, we actually got some organization and drawer systems as well. Uh, we went with the decked system. It was uh, quite competitively priced. And this gives us a 70% drawer extension to be able to reach some of our equipment in here um, so that we don't actually have to reach all the way back into the bed and gives us a lot more height um, and less dead space for some of that stuff. And then we got the decked um, cargo glide as well. Which has a 60% extension so it's much easier to reach equipment that may be in the back especially with the topper on it um, especially with some of our rescue equipment being quite heavy um, the uh, extra access is quite nice uh, here we have our our rescue water mannequin um, he weighs about 70 pounds so being able to pull him in and out um, without straining and reaching into the vehicle is kind of nice Um, in addition to the lights on the front, we also got reverse lights. Um, these are also nice for when we're working around um, low visibility and like night operations, uh, or when we're backing in to try and attach to a trailer, um, things like that. Um, just adding to that overall visibility around the vehicle, providing light and ambient light. <clears throat> uh, lastly, one thing we wanted to bring in on the outside is our WeBoost um, cell phone uh, signal booster. So we mounted this uh, up top. Um, this will actually boost cellular signal by about 32 times, um, which is fantastic in areas that have been hit by hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, um, or remote areas where we do some of our training. Um, the additional access has been quite, quite useful for our communications and everything. All right, so here we have the internal section of the truck. And one reason that we chose the specific um, trim package or the XLT package we went with on the F-350s were some of the additional um, uh, pieces that came with it. So for example, we have the 12 volt and a three prong plug with 400 watts so we can actually be able to plug in our computers, uh, work on our reporting, um, so our incident action plans, our emergency operation plans um, while in route. Um, and, and, uh, and again, being able to use the WeBoost and have additional signal and wireless capability while we're driving on the road. Um, having this one has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on it as well, which the additional hands-free mapping um, is quite nice. Um, and then we got the um, bi-directional um, dash cams um, for better transparency on what our drivers are doing while they're driving, but then also for security for them, security for the vehicle, the expensive items that we may have inside um, with the constant recording, and then um, just safety for drivers in case anything were to happen. Um, we also have here on the roof all the controls for the system. So we'll show a shot of how everything was installed in the back. Um, and all the controls are here at the driver's fingertips near the map lights. Um, so from here we can control the light bar, the fog lights, the rack lights, um, the amber fogs, the reverse lights, the air compressor, and then the WeBoost all from, from here um, without the driver having to worry about additional knob switches or anything else around the vehicle. All right, so here we have the custom-made um, electrical switches and circuits for our truck. Um, our plant services department did an amazing job and all the installs on this truck were done internally so we didn't have to pay uh, for extra uh, work to be done outside the college which saved us so much money and made our donor dollars go that much further. Um, so this is a custom aluminum bracket that has been um, sealed uh, and uh, helps with heat dissipation. Um, for all of our electronics here. We chose to go with the Switch Pro switch panel, which allows us to control everything from the switch panel you saw up front. Um, everything was uh, grounded to the frame, and so everything is nice and clean here, well labeled for future work. Um, and then we have our WeBoost system here. This is where the actual boosting happens. And then the actual internal antenna, if you, span, if you pan up, is mounted here, and that is actually what picks up the signals within the cab and then goes to the antenna up top. Um, this all, both of the trucks are also four wheel drive um, with two high, two, uh, two high, four high and four low capabilities. Um, and they both came with the towing packages for additional braking 
um, and safety features with towing, which we do quite a bit of in our program.